Otro video para ti hoy, este es el ron de anacomputers.com. Quick video, muy rápido. Windows 10 file associations, once in a while they get fucked up, but that's not. Out of the abnormality, Windows is classic for file associations getting fucked up, mucked up, whatever you want to refer to it. You might be able to use these instructions as a basis point on Windows 8.1. Windows 8, 8.1 is quite similar to Windows 10, but fucking Windows 10 has two con two menus now, two control panels. Just okay. I had an, a customer that I was remotely connected to that was having problems with another issue, and they told me over the phone that that each time they tried to open up TurboTax to open PDFs instead of opening their tax documents in Adobe Reader <laughs> it opened up opened them up in Windows 10 Notepad well obviously Notepad is not going to have the ability to open up an Adobe PDF document so here's the instructions I have abstract written out articulated in blog post format linked to in the description box below in this video if you prefer written instructions, there are written instructions showing you exact details on how to change the Windows 10 file associations. Windows 10 application file associations. Now I will demonstrate for you, but quickly. I'm, I want to go outside actually. It's very nice day today. It's in the 70s. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, get obsessed with technology when I could be outside so what there are different ways you can get to file associations in Windows 10 I'll show you one quick way is left click the Windows 10 logo the start menu click on the gear icon for settings those the Windows 10 icons are so silly and just are whatever then now this could change in the future but for now there is a find a setting search box under Windows settings at the top you could type in default apps or def and then it'll tell you default app settings or choose a default app for each type of file choose default apps associated with each program so you've got three different cho choices that'll probably most likely take you to the same place another way to get there is click on apps uninstall defaults optional features click on that now it's only going to show you some of the default application settings it's not going to show you all of them well actually actually I think it shows you every program that's installed the default and then the default app settings but that's not that this is just apps and features this is what I'm talking about on the left hand side you will notice default apps click on that now it only shows you a few of the default apps not every application you you know is viewable if you scroll down to the bottom click on choose default apps by file type it takes a while to load this because this is Windows 10's database it will eventually list every single file type, every single file extension that is compatible with Windows 10 on the left hand side. It sorts it alphabetically. You can scroll with your scroll mouse or you can go here to the menu bar on the right hand side, the scroll and left click your mouse and, and then move it faster. You see, you notice how every single application extension is that Windows 10 supports is listed now you'll notice that some of these stipulate choose a default with a plus sign that just means that either that file extension does not have a program associated with it or there is no program installed that is associatable so this is you don't need to worry about this now as an example we're going to change the association for PDF since that's what I fixed for my customer 
scroll down now as you can see it's already set but let's say hypothetically we can do PDB above it you just click on choose a default and then there is no app that could be a, like I just told you one reason why it says choose a default is because there is no applications installed that are associatable we can click on PDF you just click to the right and then boom now a little pop-up window is viewable and then you can choose an app and whichever app you choose now it will be set as default so I'm just gonna go through hypothetically and act as if this was wrong this was notepad you can also click for an app in the store or Microsoft Edge we'll just choose Adobe Acrobat Reader and then boom that's it that's all you have to do you do not have to do anything further you don't have to scroll down and look for a save button or there is no save button that's it that's all you have to do to change Windows 10 file associations for programs and the extension if you do not know what an extension is it's er everything after the dot so dot PDF dot XLS dot doc dot HTM dot HTML the list dot the list goes on and on and on so they are listed the extension is always listed on the left hand side and then the application that you associate for that extension is on the right hand side now and I fixed it for my customer now every time that a PDF document now this also works for Windows Explorer this is for the entire operating system hence the title of the blog post Windows 10 file associations I guess I you know what I should probably re I need to edit that that title I should put Windows 10 file associations how to change them instructions or how to change instructions that I think would be better a better search engine optimized title so I get more clicks so these are all the extensions so once you set it here it doesn't matter where on Windows 10 if it's in file explorer or in my computer or my documents you let's say you have a PDF tax document in your my documents your documents folder and you double click on it it will automatically open that PDF that specific tax document PDF in Adobe Acrobat Reader and also let's say you're using a second application you're using a third-party application to open that PDF come on my stupid condenser mic is now oh there it goes like let's say TurboTax it will then correctly automatically open that tax document PDF in uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader instead of notepad so it's a real easy fix if it doesn't work if if it's missing if the file extension that you're trying to change for the associated application if it's like this choose a default and you click here and there's nothing well you're gonna have to download a program and install a program so that's not unusual now it is possible it is possible that malware Malware will fuck up your computer. Malware, viruses, spyware will fuck up your Windows 10 file associations. So if you follow my instructions and you changed it successfully and it even is now instead of Notepad, it, it is correctly Adobe Acrobat Reader. And when you go through TurboTax and it still opens it up in Notepad, it could be malware, spyware viruses I'm not saying it's a hundred percent you might want to clean up your temp files you know use a program like CCleaner but it should work it should work you should be able to or it could be that Windows is corrupted you know SFC scans check disk but if you follow my instructions you should be able to change the file associations for Windows 10 and as you can see I mean the, the list goes on and on and on that's all you have to do let me show you another way to get into this menu let's see let me make sure this is selected I showed you you know whoops left clicking boom 
boom default if I can spell now let's see default apps what default app whoops I I want to I'm getting bored already I'm getting fucking bored this is what happens when I get bored you could choose one of these other options now this one takes you directly there that's why it's taken a while another way is using Cortana and type in default apps and we'll wait for the list to populate okay let's close that and we'll use Cortana default app settings system settings click on that and it will take you to this screen which is a bit of a shortcut scroll down bam choose default apps by file type bam it's gonna have to re I'm assuming it goes through the Windows registry and that's why it takes a while to fucking load but there's quite look at how many file type extension associations there are available for Windows 10 there's another option I noticed default you can choose default apps by protocol we can look at that list really quick and then I need to run okay well protocol alright you might not want to fuck with this but this is another way well it doesn't look like you can mess with anything on the left hand side this is just another way that you can change your default app if you need to FTP maybe your FT yeah FTP file transfer protocol okay I get it now this is networking I'm getting an email this is networking protocols Th these could get fucked up for your email or your web browsers your FTP program file transfer protocol what else I don't give a shit about Xbox okay SMS your messaging might have gotten changed Windows search I am trying to find a way to to disable that although you might have to have Windows search in order to use file explorer and in order to to search all right I need to run that could be one of my customers that I'm supposed to help via remote connection today and that's how I make money that's my supplementary income adios